Philip Haynes Markov's descent into infamy began with a simple click of a mouse. As an American medical student, Markov's outwardly promising life concealed a dark and sinister secret. He was the notorious Craigslist killer. Through the online platform, Markov preyed upon unsuspecting victims, luring them in with promises of companionship and services. Born on February 12, 1986 in Syracuse, New York, Markov's academic prowess led him to pursue a career in medicine. However, his seemingly bright future took a sinister turn when he turned to Craigslist as a hunting ground for his crimes. Trisha Leffler, an escort, was the first victim to fall prey to Markov's web of deceit. Bound and robbed at gunpoint in April 2009, she was merely the beginning. Julissa Brisman, enticed by Markov's online advertisement for massage services, met a far more tragic fate in a Boston hotel room. The cycle continued with Cynthia Melton narrowly escaping Markov's clutches in a subsequent attempted robbery. The evidence against Markov was damning. Surveillance footage, phone records, and a trail of online communications led authorities straight to his doorstep. Despite vehemently denying his involvement, Markov faced a litany of charges, including first-degree murder and armed robbery. As Markov awaited trial, the weight of his actions bore down upon him. Multiple suicide attempts reflected his inner turmoil and desperation. Ultimately, on August 15, 2010, Markov met his end within the confines of Boston's Nashua Street Jail, leaving behind a legacy of darkness and terror that continues to haunt the corridors of the Internet age. On March 18, 2015, Michelle Wilkins was glowing with joy as she made the short trip across town to the house of Dinah Lane. She was 34 weeks pregnant with a little girl. The baby was healthy, and she just found a cheap bundle of maternity clothes on Craigslist. Just what she needed to cover that ever-growing baby bump. All she had to do was pick them up. When she reached Lane's home, Lane led her inside, where the two women talked for about an hour. Then, Wilkins followed Lane into the basement for the clothes, and the pleasant afternoon turned into a horror film. Without warning, Dinah Lane smashed a lava lamp over Wilkins's head and shoved her onto a bed, then used a shard of glass from the broken lamp to cut Wilkins's neck. Her hands went to Wilkins's throat, but there was already too much blood to get a good grip, so she pressed a pillow over Wilkins's face. Losing consciousness and terrified for both her life and the life she carried inside her, Wilkins tried one final, desperate plea for compassion. I love you, she gasped. Lane grabbed a kitchen knife and replied, If you love me, you'll let me do this. Then she cut Wilkins's unborn daughter from her womb and left the woman to bleed to death. Miraculously, Wilkins managed to retain consciousness long enough to dial 911, and she was rushed to surgery at the nearest hospital. And in the same hospital, just down the hall, a woman in the maternity ward tearfully clutched a stillborn child to her breast and told nurses that she'd had a miscarriage. It was only later that the truth came out. On March 19th, Lane, a former nurse's aide, was arrested and charged with multiple felonies, including attempted first-degree murder, two counts of first-degree assault, and unlawful termination of a pregnancy. Despite admitting to cutting the unborn baby from Wilkins's womb, Lane claimed Wilkins attacked her, and she acted in self-defense. Lane's partner testified that she found Lane covered in blood, claiming to have had a miscarriage, and took her and the baby to the hospital. Lane was sentenced to 100 years in prison for her brutal crime, a sentence that served as a stark reminder of the justice served for such heinous acts. Troy LaFerrara was a Port Trevorton, Pennsylvania man whose life ended tragically on November 11, 2013. Miranda Barber and her husband, Elite Barber, orchestrated his murder through a Craigslist ad, marking the beginning of a horrifying ordeal that would shock the nation. 
Miranda, influenced by a satanic cult since the age of 13, had a disturbing history of violence. Under the cult leader's guidance, she committed her first murder at just 13, setting a dark precedent for her future. Despite a brief interruption when she was sent to live with her uncle in North Carolina, Miranda's descent into darkness continued unabated. In North Carolina, Miranda met Elite, and their shared fantasies of violence soon became apparent. The couple harbored a desire to kill, believing it would solidify their bond. On November 1st, 2013, Miranda, now 18, posted a chilling Craigslist ad seeking men who hated their wives. Troy LaFerrara, a 42-year-old man, responded, unknowingly sealing his fate. On the night of November 11th, Miranda and Elite carried out their gruesome plan. With a lit concealed in the backseat of their vehicle, Miranda awaited Troy's arrival, the agreed signal ready. When she uttered the prearranged phrase, did you see the stars tonight? Elite sprang into action, strangling Troy with a cord, while Miranda mercilessly stabbed him over 20 times. After disposing of Troy's body, the couple callously cleaned their car and went out for dinner, celebrating their heinous act. However, their joy was short-lived as they were arrested the following day. In prison, Miranda made sensational claims of being responsible for 22 murders across multiple states. But authorities remained skeptical of her outlandish assertions. Despite pleading not guilty initially, Miranda and Alit were found guilty of second-degree murder and sentenced to life in prison without parole on September 18, 2014. Their case garnered worldwide attention due to Miranda's unsubstantiated claims in the chilling manner in which they lured their victim through a Craigslist ad, highlighting the dangers of online interactions and the depths of human depravity. I hope you found these stories as chilling and unsettling as I did. It's a stark reminder that sometimes reality can be stranger and more frightening than fiction. If you enjoyed these tales of suspense, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more spine-chilling content. This is your host, Nicholas Black. Until next time.